guys, today I'm gonna to teach you how to prepare a piccolo, a short macchiato, and a long macchiato. And I'm gonna do them all at the same time. I'm gonna be doing my piccolo in a 90 mil glass. You can also do it in a 90 mil takeaway cup. I'll be doing my short macchiato in an espresso cup. I'll also be doing my long macchiato in a 170 mil tulip cup. So let's make a few copies. So I'm here in the artistic training room today. We're working on a San Remo Zoe competition tall machine. Um, I've also got my Anthem SV2 grinder with my dosing pots, weighing out my dose. Good distribution. Manual tamping. Did a video recently with Luke about manual tamping to, to watch that one. So I'm just gonna split these two shots into here, the next shot going. So you can tell, I've got two single shots here. I've got a single shot for my piccolo, and I've also got a single shot for my short macchiato. I'm going to put my long black on. Sorry, my long mac. However, I am preparing a long black to be able to put turn into a long macchiato. Wonderful. Now I'm, you can tell that I'm holding this closely because I really want that crema to sit on top of this hot water. I don't want it to dive through a mixer. I really want that nice rich crema sitting on top of that water there. Beautiful. Once I've got that, I can leave that. All right, so I've got a small jug of milk here. We're gonna froth this like we're doing a latte because we obviously wanna pour that piccolo latte. Now, piccolo actually means small in Italian. So we call it a piccolo latte, it's a small latte. Probably the one thing you wanna recognize it is it's not actually really a small latte because it is a different ratio to a latte. It's got uh, far more coffee to milk uh, in its ratio. So. Let's jump over to this short macchiato. Now, right now, I've just got a short black. I'm just going to use some of the froth from this milk and sit that right on top of that there. So that is my short macchiato. Just a stain of milk. So macchiato means stain of milk, and that's all it is. It's just a simple stain of milk. And again, we really want this froth to sit on top of that long black there, and that's gonna make our long macchiato so that stain of milk just ensures that customer can get some good mouth feel and mix that in as they please but now i've got plenty of milk here if you've watched any of my other videos you'll know that you've got to have the right amount of milk to be able to pour good latte out so i'll just reduce that i've got my piccolo and you can still do latte art in your piccolos Yeah, they're a bit smaller, you've got to practice a bit more, but that right there is a piccolo. And you'll be serving that to your customer that way. It's facing them. So you've got a piccolo with a single shot in a 90 mil glass filled to the top, about 10 mil, five to 10 mil froth on top. So they still get that mouth feel. You've got a short macchiato there, which is a single shot. That is your single shot with a stain of milk and your long macchiato is your stain of milk on top of your long black. Now that is how we make our coffees here in Australia. I've done a full video on all of this uh, basic coffee menu and how to prepare all of the drinks in an Australian coffee menu. We'll put a link below to that video so you can watch me prepare all the drinks in the menu. And we also have a downloadable PDF. So if you head to the link below, there's a downloadable PDF that explains even more about how to prepare these drinks, what the shots and the milk and the ratios that you're gonna need to prepare the best piccolo, long macchiato and short macchiato in your cafe or just at home. Hope that's helpful. I'll catch you next time. Cheers.